Hi, my name is Nick and today I'm going to take you to some of the best bass fishing marks around Westwood Ho. If you visit Westwood Ho and you want to catch bass, your first port of call will probably be some lands tackle. We're situated right in the centre of Westwood Ho on the main crossroads. Lots of specialist tackle for the enthusiast and plenty of starter kits and advice. Some lands tackle is just a couple of hundred yards from one of the UK's great bass beaches. So come on, let's go fishing. Our first stop is the South Gut, one of Westwood Ho's most famous bass fishing spots. Situated at the far end of Westwood Ho Beach, it's effectively a shortcut across the beach for the incoming tide to enter the River Torridge. We spin for bass here using a red gill and a bubble float. Best fished on the flood tide starting two hours after low water. One word of warning, don't cross onto Zulu Bank. It's not a nice place. Now let's walk on half a mile around the corner and into the river estuary. This brings us to Grey Sands Beach. You can fish here at all states of the tide. We do have big tides here, so if you find the current is too strong, walk on to Grey Sands Point and cast towards the lifeboat. From here you will be casting with the flow of the tide or directly into the flow, so you won't get that horrible bow in your line. Now if you're here at low water, away to your right, you'll see Skern mud flats. At high tide they flood, and this is just a great place to catch a mullet. Find yourself a little corner out of the wind, and I'm sure you'll have some great fun. It's worth noting you can drive here from Westwood Ho, just follow the signs to Appledore and turn left at Watertown. You'll have to pay a toll, but it will save you a long walk. The parking ground is within just a few hundred yards of all the fishing spots I've just mentioned. So on to our next hot spot, a great fishing mark this, the lifeboat slip in Appledore. Again you can fish this at all states of the tide. Just cast towards the lifeboat which is moored in the river and you'll always have a good depth of water. You can also spin here for bass. So now it's on to Appledore Key for a totally different type of fishing. This is the centre of the universe when it comes to crab fishing and an absolute mecca for the children. Every week they have a crabbing competition and this will probably be the highlight and most remembered part of any family holiday. Right then, back to Westwood Ho. Grab your beach casting gear, get your fresh bait and we'll walk down to the sea wall. Turn left at the end of the prom, cut down onto the rocks and walk along the path to the old pier stumps. The rocks flood at high tide, so you can fish any time from two hours after high tide until two hours before high tide. Stand just to the left of the pier stumps and cast directly towards Lundy Island. It can be a bit smaggy, but then you know what they say, no pain, no gain. Okay, next stop is Westwood O Beach. You'll need your beach rod here, cast behind the third or fourth wave. This is the environment the bass love, swimming in the waves. At sunset you can often see the bass swimming in the curl of the wave. Fresh worm or sand eel are the best baits. If you're fishing in the evening or at night, try the larger baits, mackerel or squid are good. At high tide you can also just move back and fish off the pebble ridge, casting onto the sand. Well that's it. I hope the video has been of interest and perhaps tempted you to visit Westwood Ho. If you need any more advice, you know where we are, some lands tackle right in the middle of Westwood Ho. And of course you can always catch us online at www.summerlands-tackle.co.uk Hang on a second, I forgot to tell you something. If you need any advice or help, just pop into the shop and ask for Simon. He's the bloke who specialises in catching the big bass. Hmm, you think that's big? You want to see my cat.